Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to show you how easy it is to set up a brand new domain, build a new website, and we'll use WordPress um, for, for just making it super easy. So I'm over here at my web host, which is DreamHost, and I'm uh, first order of business is getting a brand new domain name for your future website. And there's all kinds of domain registrars out there, which are the companies you use, you use to, in order to get your domain name. I'm going to use DreamHost for this example. Um, I've used DirectNIC a lot in the past. Uh, just lately I've been using DreamHost for everything since they're my host. But uh, there's plenty of, you know, there's GoDaddy is out there and there's all kinds of promos and stuff like that. One thing I would like to impress upon you though is that you don't have to get your domain name at the same company that does your hosting. For instance, my host is DreamHost for my web server. But there's nothing wrong with getting your domain name at some other company like DirectNIC or GoDaddy or anything like that. And in fact, if you're making sites for other people, it's highly likely that you will not be using the same company for domain registrations as you do for hosting. So it's really not any tougher to use two different companies for it. Pretty easy process as long as you have your DNS server information, which they will certainly provide. But I'm going to do it here just for consistency with some other domains that I've got. And first thing I knew, well, I knew, of course I have to have a site idea. Um, let's see, I ride a scooter, a little uh, Honda PCX for my main transportation. So maybe I want to make a new blog, a new website about that um, that activity. You know, riding a scooter, scooter transportation, or scooter commuting, or something like that. In fact, that's what I'll try for my first domain. And I haven't tried these out before I started the recording. So um, scooter commuter so if uh, it doesn't look like we can't find anything I'll pause and, and uh, hunt around for something domain is already taken of course so let me just do some quick searching I'll try some different variations and see what's available let's see scoot and commutes available what about a commuter on a scooter let's check this out so this should have pretty good success here Okay, commuter on a commuter on a scooter dot com is available. So don't make fun of me for this domain name, but I'm gonna grab this. All right, so I found a domain name that I like. Now this was a real legitimate business. I'd probably spend some time, and I might get multiple domain names, uh, similar spellings, you know, things like that. But uh, I think this is good for now. Might still, it's a little bit longer than I like, but um, I think it'll, it's gonna work for this purpose. So I'm gonna go ahead and register this domain. They're gonna charge me about twelve bucks for this privilege. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and take a second to fill out this information and grab the domain. Okay, I just got confirmation that my payment was accepted, so I now have uh, commuteronascooter.com. Might take a little bit for the account to become actively available. Okay, now once my site is available, I'm sorry, once my domain is definitely available, you notice it's got DNS only, so I'm going to add some hosting to this. Now, I've already got a web host, and I already mentioned DreamHost as my web host, so this is another paid service, though, by the way. So your domain costs you, you know, maybe 10, 12, up to 15 bucks a year, depending on who you go with. And web hosting is also an expense, and that's, um, I think I'm paying about 7 bucks a month. I usually pay for several years at a time, so you get a slightly reduced rate. But hosting is a critical step. So I'm going to... Certainly, I'm going to host my commuter on a scooter.com website. And I'll choose most of the defaults here. And I have a number of users, but I will go ahead and I think down at the very bottom I can. Nope, I think it's over here. Create a new user right at the very top. I'll just go ahead and make a new user. And our Philips YT for YouTube. I'll probably change this later on after the recording. Um, Okay, so that's going to be my user account, and I'm going to fully host this domain. It just takes a minute here. Okay, so my commuter on a scooter.com site's been added, and it's got my username there. It's given me a temporary password. I'll change that in a little bit. But it's also given me my DNS information, and this part is what you would get from any domain registrar. I'm sorry, from your, you'll get it from your web host. So if I was using, let's say, DirectNIC or GoDaddy as my domain registrar, then I would take this information and I would provide it to GoDaddy or to DirectNIC or whoever my domain name system was. So this is why it's very easy to have a domain registrar at one company, web hosting at a completely different company. So very easy to work with that kind of stuff. 
All right, but now that's set up, I should be able to log into my site using this information and FileZilla. So if I head over to FileZilla, I'll put in my host, which is um, commuter on a scooter.com, my username and my password. I'll do a quick connect. All right, I am in. So um, basically on my quick connect here, I can see that my commuter on a scooter.com is now available. And by the way, just a few minutes of really passive. This is not a long, uh, a long process. I go into this folder. They've put some stuff in there for me. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. And then while I was waiting for that to uh, propagate, I did create a really quick little index page. So I'll just take this over here. That's now uploaded to the server. Commuter on a scooter.com. And there's my page all set up. So uh, that's how easy it is to set up a domain with a web page. And of course, then you could publish and manage this website as normal. I think in the next video, though, I'd like to get some WordPress on here.